What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Hotel Dusk. Last time, we dug through some trash, found a cassette tape, rewound it, listened to bits of it, where you can tell it was from a wiretap and something about a heist, most likely, and Iris's envelope. So now we're confronting Iris about said findings. What do you want to know? Give me the skitty on the tape. The tape is none of your concern. Just give it back. You want the tape? I want answers. Who are the voices on the tape? I have no idea. No idea? You really do think I'm an idiot, don't you? Where does a princess like you get something like this? I told you. Grace sent it to me. She asked me to bring it here, that's all. Hold it. Why bring it here? Because I was told to! Grace gave you the tape. What was the plan? She told me to wait for her to contact me again. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to bring the tape to this hotel. You and Grace were close? That's right. So you must know all about her, right? About her family. That why you were boozing it up with her husband, Kevin Woodward? Her husband? Well... You didn't know! Guess you didn't know. Are you sure? That man is Grace's husband? Then that little girl... The girl in the restaurant is... Yeah, that's her kid. Oh. Now I understand why she had that doll with her. When did you last see Grace? Where is she now? Talk, damn it! Where is Grace? Where is she gone? Grab her by the arms and just shake her and then slap her in the face. You stupid, insensitive fool! I don't know, all right? And you are the one who should be telling me what's going on. Wait, I don't... I'm the one who knows her, you idiot. I'm the one who's searching for her. I have to find her. There's something I have to ask her. Let's talk about the plan. I think I know why Grace asked you to do this. And why she wanted the tape brought here. Uh... Well, she probably knew something she wasn't supposed to. She probably confronted somebody. And the evidence is the tape. The tape which she sent here to keep safe keep. If Grace were here, we would already know that by now. That tape is insurance. She needs it to give someone the strong arm. I guess right, huh? I don't know what the tape is for. When Grace sent me the tape, she gave me a message. If I didn't hear from her by Christmas, I was to come to this pathetic hotel. And I had to bring the tape with me. I'm supposed to hand it over to a certain man. Let's talk about the doll. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Melissa's doll caught your eye, huh? What's going on there? <laughs> Steal it. She clearly seen it before. <laughs> Steal it. You've seen that doll before tonight, right? After all, Grace is the one who made it. I didn't. I didn't know she made it. That explains why it looks so much like our dolls. Oh. Let's talk about Grace. I figured it out. I think I know why you're looking for Grace. It's because she vanished? You're trying to track her down. Yes. I thought she was married and happy, you know? I refuse to believe that she just vanished for no reason. Woodward got hit with a big lawsuit back in 77. He was about to lose everything. Grace raised a whole bunch of dough and pulled his ass out of the fire. But how? Good question. 
If you find out, tell Kevin, will you? Apparently, Grace refused to tell him where she got the cash. Guy couldn't take it. They fought about the cash and he stopped trusting her. Then she decides to skip town. Oh, Grace. This isn't some tape Grace picked up at a yard sale. What's the story? What does it mean? I don't know. Kevin got sued for a king's ransom. Where'd Grace, oh, where'd Grace get the money to pay that off? I don't know, okay? I don't have any idea. Who gets the tape? Get real sick of hearing you say that, Iris. Nice plan. I asked her, Grace I mean. I asked her who she meant, but... She just told me to give it to the man who painted the angel. Oh... Well, Officer Zone is here! Officer Zone is in this hotel! I hoped that I'd understand when I got here, but... I don't. So here I am. A girl with no plan, trapped in the worst hotel in the world. I'm lost, Mr. Hyde. I have no idea who this man is or how to find him. You had that doll? We have one of those dolls too? I've seen that doll before. Maybe not that exact one, but... It looks just like the dolls Grace and I used to have when we were kids. Where did Grace get the money? How did Grace pull together that much scratch? I have no idea. I guess we're past the point of hiding secrets. Tell me the secret. I doubt you're the kind of man I can conceal much from anyway. This about the tape? No, it's about Grace. Well, about Grace and I, actually. What's the story? I'm her little sister. <gasps> no kidding. She's four years older than I am. I didn't see that coming. Our mother was a kind, beautiful woman, but she was weak. Terrified of being alone, easily manipulated, terribly sad. I'm sure you know the type. She fell in love so easily, and always with the wrong kind of man. They used her and hurt her and left her, and then she would just find another one. We lived on the run, running away from the last bad man and toward the next. And every time we moved, we got a new father. In truth, Grace and I are only half-sisters. I don't even remember her father. But it didn't matter. Growing up, we were inseparable. When you're always the new kid, you hang on to what you have. We were best friends. But then my mother died, and Grace and I were separated. I thought I would die as well. Your mom died young? Yes, in a plane crash. Do you remember that Las Vegas plane crash in 1960? She was on it. I was nine years old and far too young to understand. She was just gone. The man she was with at the time was a pathetic snake. The airline gave Grace and me a large sum of money, and he took it all. Once that was done, he stashed us in separate orphanages and vanished. It's fucked up. Grace and I, we lost contact. I was eventually adopted, but I didn't care much for my new parents. At 15, I ran away and spent five years in a blur of hotels and highways. When I was 20, I found work at some run-down diner in Santa Monica. And one day, Grace walked back into my life. It's funny, I knew her right away, but she didn't know me at first. I guess those five years changed mo me more than I thought. Anyway, after a few moments, she recognized me and we were reunited. She was so beautiful, Mr. Hyde. Just beautiful. She had gone to college and made something of herself. She was working as a curator at a place called Gallery May. And she was engaged to a doctor. We promised to meet up later, but instead I quit and fled Santa Monica. 
I heard Grace was looking for me, but I never tried to contact her. Why is that? Because I was ashamed, Mr. Hyde. She was radiant and I was pathetic. I didn't want her to see me like that, and so I ran away, again. I decided to follow my dream of becoming an actress. I jumped from city to city, taking any role that was thrown my way. And in that fashion, time just passed. But two years ago, Grace tracked me down. I had just been featured in some small-time magazine photo shoot. Grace saw it and tracked me down through the agency. I was shocked by what she'd become. The girl from Santa Monica was gone. Her eyes, Mr. Hyde. Her eyes were so sad. She waited until we were alone and then broke down. She told me she needed money. She begged me to help her. And did you? Mr. Hyde, I could have sold my entire life and not come close to what she needed. And she wouldn't even tell me what it was for. I told her no. I had no choice. I couldn't dream of getting that kind of money. She was sobbing. Sobbing and apologizing and... She told me she was sorry for asking the impossible. And that she didn't really care about the money. She just wanted to see me. She said it gave her the courage to do what must be done. For her family. It was like we were little girls and all over ag- Oh. Like we were little girls all over again. How so? We were still so young. We moved from place to place and I spent all my time in the car sobbing. Mom was too caught up with her men to do more than scold me. But Grace was my savior. She used to put my favorite doll between her arms. Then she would hold me and talk to me until I calmed down. I thought back to that after she left the agency. After a few seconds, I decided to chase her down. But when I ran out the door, she was gone. The envelope arrived about a year and a half after that. It contained a letter in that cassette tape. I don't have the letter, but I read it again and again and remember every word. Iris, my family desperately needed money and I did a terrible thing. If you don't hear from me by Christmas, I need you to do something for me. Take this tape to Hotel Dusk. The letter went on to tell me to give the tape to the man who painted the angel. So, here I am. What a fantastic Christmas this is turning out to be. Anyway, that's all I know, Mr. Hyde. The tape is a mystery. The letter is a mystery. I was scared when that tape went missing, but I guess it doesn't matter. None of it tells me how to find this man who paints angels. I hoped that coming here would clear everything up, but it didn't. I'm clueless, Mr. Hyde. Clueless and frustrated and just plain tired of it all. Kevin's been looking for Grace for a long time. And Melissa's getting pretty desperate too. Guess we can add you to the mix. I just want to see her again. I want to know what... Oh, that she's alright. Don't worry, we still got hope. We know the guy who made the angel painting is here. And I'm going to look for him. If I find him, I bet I'll find Grace too. Maybe that'll make your Christmas a little better. I'll be around. Grab me if you think of anything else. And here's your tape back. <laughs> Are you falling in love with me? So Iris is Grace's sister. Grace knew a man who paints angels. Hotel Dusk and the angel painting have to be connected. Maybe I can figure it out. And maybe that'll tell me why Bradley came here in the first place. Eleven twenty PM Okay. So I need to find something I need to find the painter, but don't I also owe Louie a game of bowling? Louie! Louie! Let's have some fun. Wait, where'd he go? 
Louie, no! What the shit? Maybe he's in his room? Which is... Left hallway. Right, right, right. Okay. I bet it's some weird, shady, homemade bowling alley. It's gonna look terrible. It's gonna look awful. Louie! Louie, it's me! Lucy, I'm home! My man! Did you figure stuff out and bust heads and all that cop stuff? Come on, man, hit me. What's the deal with the tape? The tape was sent to Iris by a woman named Grace. Grace? Yo, I should know this- wait. I should know this Grace or what? She's Iris's sister. Iris has a sister? A-woo. 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 You're a moron, Louie. There's more. Grace is Melissa's mother. No joke? Oh, wait, man, that means... Yeah, Grace is actually Kevin's missing wife. Well, I'll be damned. You're some kind of cop, Officer Hyde. Apparently, Kevin isn't much of a doctor because he lost a big malpractice suit. Grace got the money to pay the thing off, but Kevin doesn't know how. Aw, oh, trip, man. Sounds like dirty money to me. You and me both, brother. About six months ago, Grace up and vanished. That's the same time she sent the tape to Iris. Thing came with a letter that told her to sit tight until Christmas. If there was no word by then, Iris had to bring the thing here. Here, man. This hotel? She's supposed to give it to a man who paints angels. That don't make no sense, man. I know, but there it is. Yeah, there it is. Listen, I need you to take a buzz through the guest log from two years ago. Sure, man, I'll do my sneak it around thing soon as Dunning takes off. You want, I should check if Grace Woodward stayed here, right? Smart boy, Louie. You just called him a moron. If only my ma could see her Louie now. But first, we gotta settle something like men. Men who roll! Your own! Wait! But I don't know where the bowling alley is, you you idiot! Oh, hello. <laughs> that was the weirdest psst I've ever sounded. Yo, over here, man! Sound like I pooped my pants. Where? Oh. Oh, oh. You want to do this here, Louie? Oh man, it's way more fun this way. If you say so. Now, let's get it on! Wow, this is so reckless. This, okay. Well, I can't curve it, but just gotta get it right in... Right in the... Yeah! <laughs> Whoopsie! It's not so easy with the mouse. Man, that the best you can do? Now it's my turn. Watch this action. No, he's gonna do good. He's gonna get like seven. Aww. Uh, guess that's the way the ball rolls, huh? The first game's all mine. All right, all right, I get what you want to do. Let's do this. Yeah, buddy. I barely even moved it. Hey, not bad, Hyde. What, you gonna try and beat it? Good luck. Now it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll see. Watch, it's gonna be crap. You dick. Punch him. Go home. Guess that's the way the ball rolls. That's what I'm talking about. Second game goes to me. And another one to me. 
<laughs> Making me the victor. Not bad, right? Now it's my turn. Watch this action. A nice two mile per hour roll, you dig? What is that, a tie? Yeah, it is. You'll never win what with rolls like that. Once more? After you. Do I have to win? Oh. Okay. Yes! Yes! I bet he'll get the same exact numbers as last time. Which is a win for me for this one. That was a different kind of roll, but I think the numbers are the same. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Roll! This might be a tie. Come on, hurry up, just do it. Alright. Come on! Tie. All right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> all right. God, please don't lose. Not now. Yeah! Do it! Do it! Okay, this might be a tie, which means I win. Come on, come on. Yeah. Hurry up and go! Go! Hurry up, Louie! Shut up! Just do it! Be a man and roll! Roll them. Oh, what? Oh, man! Total bummer, man. Oh, no, no, man! No, 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 no. That's Dunning's plant! Guy loves that stupid plant. Oh man, he's gonna have my head for that. What have we here? Huh? This is... Hmm. I got an old key. That a key? What's a key doing in old man Dunning's plant? What is going on out here? What are you up to now, huh? To me. <laughs> Easy, Mama Sass. We're just having us a little chat. Don't Mama Sass me, Louis de Nano. You were playing that ridiculous bowling game again, weren't you? Oh man. What? You thought it was a secret? You talk about it to everyone you meet. I'm sure even Mr. Smith knows by now. You should pray that he never catches you, or it'll be your job. Aw, oh, come on, Rosa. Why you gotta be Captain Hardass all the time? Your fun is no concern of mine, Louis Donano. That's cold, Mama. Real cold. I don't have time for this. Mila's missing. Where is she? Have you seen her? Mila? You lost Mila? I did not lose her, Mr. Hyde. She left my room and hasn't come back. I checked the lobby and the restaurant already. Oh, this is terrible. You seem pretty worried there. Something I should know? What? No, nothing. Just... Just trying to find her. Sure you are. I'm busy. I have to go. If you see Mila, tell her to go back to my room and wait. Alright? Good. Rosa scuttles off down the hall. Woo-wee! Sounds like they had themselves a fight or something, yeah? Something like that. Hey man, we should help look for Mila, you know? Just to be all nice and all. I know why you're looking, Louie, and it's fine. You take the first floor. I'll take the second. 
Gotcha. And Louie? Yeah? Keep the safe. What, the old key? See if you can find out what it goes to. Yes, sir, officer. And with that, let's go ahead and end this episode here. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!